Hi, this is Rod Simmons from Simple Mobile Review. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your Freedom Pro keyboard with your Android mobile device. Before we get started, let's make sure that our phone is set up to allow applications to be installed that don't come from the marketplace. We'll go into settings, scroll down here and look for applications. There we go. And you'll notice the top one is actually checked unknown sources. Now it's time to start the pairing process. We'll click on menu and go to settings. From there we'll scroll and look for wireless and networks. We'll scroll down to Bluetooth settings. Okay, now it's the time go. to point out something on the keyboard. You'll notice at the very top there's a small hole for the pairing button. We'll be pressing that shortly. And then there's a switch for SPP or HID mode. For pairing with an Android phone, we need to be in SPP mode. And obviously, the keyboard needs to be turned on. Alright, so I pull out my uh, handy dandy paper clip, and I'm going to click that pairing button that we talked about just a second ago. There we go. A little light will start flashing on your keyboard. You can barely see that actually on my screen, but it's flashing. I'm going to click scan for new devices on my Android phone. I see it's detected a new device there with a little serial number. I'm just going to click on that. And then I get prompted with typing in the passcode. This is prompting for it on the Android phone, so I'll uh, get my keyboard up and click four zeros. Uh, that's what I need to pair. Let's get that in there. Okay. And I'll click done. And voila, I've actually paired the keyboard. Now, let's transition. We need to jump out to the web and actually download the drivers because pairing isn't the completion of the process. So we'll go to otadrivers.com. Large just so you can see it. I'll click on Freedom Pro Keyboard at the top. That's the keyboard that I have. I'll explain this out. It's just saying that it can't detect the uh, phone type that I have here in their database. So I'll click on that click here on that bottom line right there. And then I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page, I just because I know that's where the drivers are. All right. Oh, okay. I think I might be at the bottom of the page. Just double check. Yep. All right. Let me expand that out so you guys can see that. Scroll down here and click on the bottom link for 2.0 and 2.1. I'm actually running Android 2.2, but the, the drivers actually do work fine on Android 2.2 as well. We'll get a little download there. There we go. Click on that. And click OK and the drivers are now installing. Alright, that seems pretty easy. Just click done here. And the next step for us is to transition over to going to get the two things talking. So we'll click on menu, settings, and we're going to scroll down and look for language and keyboards. Let's see where that is. There we go. Scroll down here and click on uh, Freedom Keyboard. Ah, there we go. Got it. You'll notice that you get a little warning message from Android telling you that, you know, someone could be sniffing what you're typing here, but I'm quite comfortable with what I'm doing here, so I'll click OK to accept that. I'll click on the Freedom Pro Keyboard settings. And then the main thing we're looking for here is the Connect button at the top. I'll click on the Connect button. And within a couple seconds, the connect will switch over to disconnect. If you have problems with the keyboard, that'll never switch over. Um, that's the problem I experienced on my uh, on my HTC Incredible. Let's uh, do a quick test of the keyboard. I gotta click and hold in here to tell it to use what input method, and we'll switch down to the Freedom Pro keyboard. And now I'll start typing away. Let's see, I'll just type in our URL there. There we go. And you can see that I'm easily typing from my Freedom Pro keyboard. But let's transition to this so you can actually see me typing. It's always kind of funny for someone to be typing off screen. I do apologize for the dark room. Uh, there we go. You can see me physically touching keys on the keyboard and the response actually coming in on the screen. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing complex about setting up an Android.